Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the GW Panther, the tier 7 German SPG. It's located on the westbourne of Studjanki and it's under the command of Beat Asian Noobs. Now it's a 15 centimeter howitzer capable of 600 alpha and it'll penetrate 39 millimeters of armor. So it can penetrate tier 5s and tier 6s but in this game, it's tier 7s and tier 6. So let's have a look and see what he can do. Of course, the RT that, that was never built. They uh, designed it, they made models of it, but it never got put into production. Which is a pity, really, because uh, it might have actually made quite a big difference. The turret can't turn all the way around. It only turns 26 degrees either side of the center line giving it a 52 degree arc but uh, it's still quite a considerable arc which makes a big difference when you're relaying the gun to fire at a new angle he's fired the snap at Nassorn oh my god he got a kill with the first shot well that was impressive even though he was virtually fully blown on the reticule he still managed to pick off that Nassorn I think he realized that he only needed a near miss to actually get the kill. Much more accurate on the T3485M, gets a direct hit for 237. Okay, and Achilles. It's quite an interesting tank destroyer with a 17 powder rather than the standard 76 millimeter or three inch gun. Gets a hit. One of the uh, tank museum um, people was asked um, which was his favorite tank in the museum. He said it was the Achilles. I can understand why, really, because it's that big 17 pounder gun. Oh, it's going to try for the Skoda. Very close. Yes, it had a big 17 pounder gun which is capable of eviscerating tigers, uh, but it was only a little uh, M10 hull. So it's fairly vulnerable. Okay, it's so going to try and get the Jew 2 on the run. Close. I love the way he's moving after each shot. He is uh, making absolutely certain there's no way the enemy can get a shot on him. There's the Jew 2. Looks like he's trying to see if he can shoot whilst he's on the run. Rounds out. Close again. Right, that Panther's positioned himself to make it very difficult for us to get a shot. But over here we've got a Tiger 131 and the BZ58. Both trying to get at our teammates. And so we can land a round between them. And he does... In fact, he lands directly on top of Tiger 131, but he gets stun assist off both of them. And I think that made a big difference to our team. And yes, both Tiger 131 and the BZ58 both went down. And he's picked up a whole load of stun assist off that one. So very, very good indeed. But now we've got a Sturry Mill. And the Tiger 131's coming up to join him. Now very difficult to get the steering mill because he's positioned himself to make the building protect him. He is taking fire, but it's actually taking fire from the north, not from the west. Meanwhile, the Achilles has moved up. The enemy's really suffering because they've lost uh, their fight down on us at the moment. We're trying to get this Achilles. He is a one shot, but we leave him for the guys on the uh, cops in the north. And in the meantime, we're going for that Panther if we can get a shot. Almost loaded. Standard reload for this RT is 25.89 seconds. And you can see here that uh, BTH Noobs has got it down to 20.95. It's a good reduction. More tanks are falling. Still a big difference though. Six tanks difference. Now it's seven. Super Hellcat right at the other end of the map. 
It's a long shot right the way over the top of the map. It's three seconds for the shell to get there, but he lost sight of the target. And he can't be sure, so instead he's decided to go for another one. The Firefly dies in the south. We're now going to try and get a shot on this Skoda. But he's uh, the one of the last ones in the south. In fact, I think he is the last one in the south. Rounds out. So we stunned him, got some splash. And the rest of it is stun assist. And he's gone. There's only three enemies remaining now. Super Hellcat, an IKV-65-2, and a GW Panther, the enemy RT. Okay, he saw that enemy, but he's going back here because he realizes there's another enemy over here. And there he is, the Super Hellcat. The IKV's gone down. The Super Hellcat's gone down. That means the last enemy is their GW Panther. And he's just been located. So we're trying to go for our opposite number. And he dies before we can get a shot off. Here's the end of battle results. And that battle was the first class tanker for B-Tation Noobs and the GW Panther. But it was also the one where he picked up his second mark of excellence on the GW Panther. Congratulations for getting your second mark. He also picked up a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he managed to get eight. And he got a confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates. Let's have a look at the team score and see where he was. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game, but he actually came fairly close. The highest damage actually went to the Super Hellcat on his team, 1,594, but he didn't get a high caliber because it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool. He only got fire for effect. Second highest damage went to the Stura Mill on the enemy team, 1,544. And the third highest damage, well, that went to a T25-2 with 1,438. We can see that the fourth highest damage was b Noobs with 1,399. When it came to kills, it was the T25-2 that did the best. He got three kills. Two kills went to the Super Hellcat, the BZ-58, the T-3485M, and on the enemy team, only the Super Hellcat managed to get two kills, and b Noobs only got the one kill in the game. But when it came to base XP, he was right at the top of the table with 953, 833 went to the T-3485M, 806 went to the T-25-2. He fired only 11 rounds in the game, but it was only a five minute game. So, well, nearly six minutes. So it, it was uh, it was good that he managed to get that many rounds out. And of course, as you saw, he got the uh, uh, a direct hit on the Nasshorn with his very first shot. Four direct hits on the enemy. None of them penetrated, but he did get 11 splash, 1,399 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damaged eight to the enemy, killed one. There's the Confederate. 2,062 hit points of stun assist off 10 stuns, and that got him the first class tanker. On a free to play account, he actually made a profit of 56,604 credits, and he also took away 1,906 experience points as well. Very well played, a short game, but very effective. And you saw right from the very first shot, he was gathering hit points. And that uh, meant that uh, he managed to get a very high average to give him that second mark of excellence. The only way you can get marks of excellence is by being very, very consistent. And that's what Btation Noobs did in this game. So if you're working towards your marks, um, just got to repeat what he does and keep getting those hits on the enemy. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and algorithm likes to nom nom and thank you for watching.